Well, on today's episode, we are at the Winter Short Track Series. It is a mountain bike series here in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's a cold day. That's normally what happens in the Winter Short Track Series. The weather in Charlotte gets real, real crappy. But that's what makes it fun. Here's some highlights from last year. Houston, Houston's from Asheville, rides for Youngblood. If you remember last year, Houston took first in four of the five races. Yes, sir. I only won one of them, but I did win one. We're racing in the same category. That's today. right. I'll be pre-worn out though. I'm racing right before. Heck yeah. That See, that's what I need. I need him to ride right before every time, so. <laughs> in second place, racing for Youngblood, bicycle, Mr. Houston Trail. You! So one of my favorite races here at the Winter Short Track Series is the eight and under race. These little guys rip on everything from striders to geared bikes, and it's very cool to see the next generation of mountain bikers in our area. Our juniors 13 to 18 category is exploding. This field was massive, and these boys are strong. Guys, get ready. Go! This juniors category has some tough kids in it. On the first lap heading into the woods, this young man took a massive fall and got super lucky that he missed the curb. We got his chain back on his bike, and that young man finished the race. Bravo, sir. Mountain biking is not a men's only sport. The women's category features some extremely talented and strong female athletes. And if you're a female mountain biker, come check out the Winter Short Track Series. They have categories for beginners all the way up to pro level athletes. So we're here with Richard Kirkman. Tell me a little bit about the Winter Short Track Series and who is behind it. Sponsored by Start to Finish and the Cycle Path is one of the bike shops, concerts as well. It is a series of five races that they do every year. You know, they're all raced at this park. It's about a one mile course, so it'll bring people from all over the state. If you're wanting to get into mountain biking and you think, I'm not the pro level, there is a race for anybody here at this event. So I moved up a category this year. It's a pretty stacked field, but I will be happy with the results I get from the effort that I put in. I will give it my everything. We'll see what happens. So I knew moving up in a category would be tough, but I did not realize how fast these young boys are. This right here is a great example of these young boys' legs. I rode my race, but just could not hang on with the top four guys. They kept putting about 15 seconds on me each lap. So we gotta figure out how to gain 15 seconds for next week. One of the highlights of the race was riding behind this young man. His name is Nathan Sinclair. He is a phenomenal downhill mountain biker, and it was really fun watching his lines. He rolled into the turns faster than I could, and I kept pushing my limits to try to stay with him because I would pedal three to four times more than him, and he would still gap me. Thank you. 
and this is where my day should have ended. But remember, I will be happy with the results I get from the effort that I give. So if I'd have walked it in, I wouldn't have given it everything. But the bummer part is, that's Houston in front of me. And I had such a big lead on him, and dang it, he passed me for ninth place. I was able to run the bike in with no crank arm, and I only went from a five minute lap to a seven minute lap. Pretty proud. Well, today did not go as planned. Last lap ripped my crank off, but ran it in. I was fourth place. I finished 10th, uh, and that's only because the running, because I had to run like pretty much a half mile to finish. It was definitely a fun day, a freaking really strong crowd. Uh, winter short track is back, and uh, it was a lot of fun. A lot of strong guys in our category, so we'll do this again next week. If you'd like to find out more about the Winter Short Track Series, there's a link in the description. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we will see you again real soon.